How's it going? All right, it's Steve Quinn. Uh, you probably know I put on some weight. This is like my winter COVID sort of weight, but that's not the reason why I'm putting on this video. I came across an interesting situation and uh, putting this video together really for myself, but uh, for anybody else who may want to uh, become aware of it. It's a little geeky and it's a little unscripted and fast and I've got to get it over with because I've been dragging it out too long. So here we go. So a friend uh, that I know uh, came across, uh, uh, gave me an opportunity to buy one of these sort of ion pens. Uh, these things claim to produce um, anion energy massage pen. This one says zero point and all kinds of funny things. Uh, this is not the pen that uh, that person was recommending I got, but I, I looked into it and it looked kind of interesting in terms of the fact that it produced uh, ions, which sounded interesting. And that got me doing some research on the health benefits of negative air ions. And there is an official study here that's actually quite good. Um, and it talks uh, about the effects on human health and air quality. And th this particular document, I'll obviously link it in the description, it's excellent. And it basically goes through um, the science. And these guys studied all the literature. I'm going to try to find, um, here that is here, there, there are uh, negative air ions coming from several places. One of them is radiant or cosmic ray. You can get it through through radioactive materials. Uh, sunlight produces negative air ions. Uh, down here there is, whoop, keep on going, uh, natural and artificial corona discharge like thunderstorms and lightning. Um, let's see what else we got. Shearing forces of water. So there are some uh, interesting uh, possible health benefits uh, just hanging out near uh, the, the shoreline or even um, uh, by a waterfall. And then the study even goes into great detail about how they discovered that plants release negative air ions and um, they can actually enhance the, uh, the, the percentages of air ions that are released by electrifying these poor little plants with crazy high voltages, like I think it was 20, 25 kilovolts. It's like, whoa. So there is definitely some, um, some benefit to it. Uh, this article does go into the detail of, uh, great detail about what are the health benefits. There's, there's not a lot of science suggesting um, there are perfect health benefits in terms of serotonin and stuff like that. Uh, however, it's a really good air cleaner. For sure, it's a really good, let me come back to my face. It's definitely a really good air cleaner. And so uh, there's definitely some efficacy to having these kind of devices around. Now, I started looking around for uh, some negative air ion devices as, as a result of doing this. I found, uh, whoops, I'm not on the right screen there. I should go back to the browser. So I saw this uh, little review page and it had some helpful products that it talked about. Um, one of them looked interesting, uh, this guy here, and it's made in the USA and I was contemplating getting one. Um, found, a, found a provider, oh, this is the original company. They're kind of hard to find in Canada, unfortunately. But uh, that's not the whole point of this video. I never did buy one of these. I will eventually. Uh, but the reason why I uh, made this video is because uh, in doing the research for this, uh, for getting into this product and the pen, I came across this uh, video by the Thought Emporium. Let me make sure I'm doing the right thing here. Yeah. The Thought Emporium, and he produced uh, a video, basically he's talking about negative ion products are actually radioactive, and that scared the hell out of me. Um, you'll notice down here that there's a uh, an interesting looking device on its side there, and uh, that's where I actually got this this particular pen image is from uh, one the same uh, the same video here actually, so. I watched the video, I highly recommend you watch it as well, and it turns out that unfortunately there are a lot of products that uh, are sold on Amazon that uh, produce negative air ions or, per, or perhaps they produce uh, particles that uh, trick uh, negative air ion devices, but unfortunately those devices are in fact radioactive. Isn't that fun? So to uh, confirm whether or not I had a uh, radioactive pen and to use um, a device 
uh, for a particular other issue that I uh, won't get into details for. I went out and I purchased for myself, let me see if I can find it, one of these guys, a GMC uh, 320. Here it is here. Whoops. Uh, let me get to my right camera view. Got the face camera. So there it is there. This is a particular... Uh, uh, radio radiation detector. It's called a Geiger counter. Um, not too many people go out and buying one of these, but I, I had two needs for this particular device. And it even comes with a, um, a nuclear radiation safety guide, and they take it very seriously. Hopefully you can see that. Um, we'll go into detail about what that means in a second. So I'm going to put, um, put back on the browser for a second and show you a couple more uh, images before we uh, do an actual test. Let's see, we got the negative air ion. Oh, uh, his videos are excellent because he actually made his own cloud chamber, which is really interesting. We have one of these things at the Science Center, uh, our Ontario Science Center, just around the corner. And when COVID's over, I definitely want to go over and try it out. This is a really neat device that you can actually see the radioactive particles and you can tell what kind of particles they are just by the, the shape of the, the pattern they make, which is kind of neat. And he shows you instructions on how to make one. Sounds like a lot of fun. And um, uh, as a result of his first video, he's actually put, put out a second video, this one here, January 19th, uh, fairly recently. Um, and apparently he's, he's, his work has done uh, good in terms of getting rid of uh, some of these scary radioactive products that are, um, that are on Amazon. And he's not just validating the uh, presence of radio radiation with uh, with a simple Geiger counter, a simple inexpensive Geiger counter. He actually has a friend who works in a in a nuclear lab with very fancy equipment. And you should watch the videos; you'll be quite surprised to find that a lot of these devices are actually uh, covered in in thorium of all things. So that sounds like fun. So. Um, the reason why I made this video is to validate what's going on. Let me come back to my face camera. The reason why I made this video is to validate it. So uh, I've got several cameras here going simultaneously. I've got the face camera. I've got my butt camera. So you can see right here I've got the radiation detector. Um, I have the Geiger counter camera that's live. So this is all being done live. And I have an all camera view. So reason why I did that is I wanted to show you that this is all being done in one take. I'm not cheating or anything like that. I'm going to put this here and it's been clicking in the background. You might have heard it. The reason why I've left it clicking is so that uh, the amount of background radiation kind of settles down. Usually you see, let me put this card here for a second. Usually you see, I wonder if I can do this. So there's 20... 20 CPM, that's uh, clicks per minute. Uh, 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 can you see that? That's good. So we see between 3 and 50, is it uh, 5 and 50, 51 to 99, greater than 100, greater than 1,000, and greater than 2,000. And those are different levels and different situations to do. Anything under, uh, I kind of see this bigger. Anything under um, uh, 50 is totally fine. Don't worry about it. Let me move this left a bit. Uh, but obviously, you should do something about it if you're at a medium level between 51 and 99. Greater than 100, greater than 1,000, greater than 2,000. Have different situations, and you, you don't want to be in those situations, I imagine. So uh, when I was using this meter, just running around the house and going to hospitals and trying to find sources. I couldn't find anything except just some random weird source around the hospital parking lot, which might have just been exposure of somebody who had been radiated. It was it was gone a couple months later when I went back, so it didn't last very long. But this thing definitely works because I have personal experience with somebody who took a radiation pill. This thing was off the charts for that person, which totally sucked. But here we are doing a, a live test. I have no idea how this is going to go. Let me go to the all camera view. I'm going to take this this all fancy pen. I'm not telling you who makes it. And you see that the average background radiation is around 20. Uh, I've seen it uh, even higher than that. But let's bring this guy in and see what happens. Are we ready? Are we ready? We're bringing it in. The results are not usually instantaneous, but I have seen it climb as far. I think it went as high as uh, 
what was the number, greater than 100. So it went into the third level. So we're just going to keep chatting away. I'll go to the Geiger camera view. And this is live. I'm, that's my hand. Here we go. You can hear it clicking more. Up we go. I'll bring the microphone closer. Maybe you can't hear the clicking. Getting up to 71. Now, having, well, might as well chat while we're doing this. Having something radioactive doesn't necessarily mean it's a terrible thing. Light, small exposures to it is, is totally fine. There's actually radiation in, in devices like your smoke detector. Um, it's fairly well sealed. Uh, but it's, it's things that you don't want to be exposed to all the time. One such radioactive substance that uh, uh, was discovered by the, the, um, the, the person who put those video series together was actually a, um, um, a nighttime eye shade. And you'd leave something like that on at night for, for I guess, for the entire sleeping period. That, that's a third of your life. You're wearing something that claims to be producing healthy ions. And in fact, it's, it's using th thorium, in this case, to uh, produce that. And I don't know if that's all that healthy. So here we are. We're just about at 100 CPM, or clicks per minute. And it's telling us high level closely watch the reading and what all of the other recommendations let's slide this to the left a bit find out why well we know why 99 oh, let's let this click for a bit to see if it tops out luckily it hasn't gone any higher than a hundred and I doubt it's ever going to go above a thousand seems to be falling interestingly I have no idea about the position. Do I have to put it horizontal, negative? It didn't matter in the case of a human test of our of our personal experience. It didn't even have to be within uh, within 20 feet, and this thing was buried in the needle. Here we go again. So we're definitely above 100, and that's concerning. I wouldn't want to have this thing on my body for any length of time to be honest with you now let's just do a conclusion here on the on this test i'm just gonna pull this thing away and let's see how rapidly it disappears i'll put it away about um, let me show you me putting it away Oop, on computer all cameras so here i am putting it away somewhere out of camera view i'm not cheating at all and hopefully this thing will start to fall down to 91 There's definitely particles coming off of this thing, but they're because of, I guess because they're being dispersed or at greater angles, not so many of them are hitting the detector. Now, I'm not a nuclear physicist or an expert or anything like that, so I'm just a geek with a, a simple consumer grade Geiger counter. However, I'd be concerned. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have this thing on my body. I would do some further investigation. I recommend you do the same. So uh, I think that's pretty conclusive. So I would be cautious if I was to buy any kind of device that uh, claims to produce health-related ions and has no power source, like in this case, because who knows where that, uh, that positive healthy ions are coming from. So I hope that helps. I want you to have yourself a good day. Bye-bye.